Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. We're doing number 9 on the practice test. So, on this one, we have minus a negative. And we discussed this in class, but if you have minus a negative, it's the same as taking the opposite of whatever operation it is. So, and that's only for addition and subtraction. So, instead of using subtraction here, we're going to take that negative and push it in there to make that a plus. So this really just becomes a big fat plus sign like this. And we can rewrite this problem as negative 17 plus 5 minus 12. So once again, I'm going to use the number line. Not that you have to, all right? This is just an example. And it's a way that you can do this and show your work. So first thing on this number line is we would start at negative 17. And so on this one, I don't have any marks, and that's just to save some space. And so that's where we're going to start. We're going to go now in the positive direction here, five spaces. So we would go to the positive direction, which is to the right, five spaces. And that takes us to negative 12. So when we combine these, we get negative 12, and we still have that minus the other 12. So from here, we'll combine these. And this is saying from negative 12, we're going to go in the negative or minus direction, which is to the left, 12 spaces. So we're going to count those. And when we push that over to the left, that takes us, if we counted those out, it would be a negative 24. And that's where we end this. So the final evaluation of negative 17 minus negative 5 is negative 12. That gives us negative 24. So I'm going to go back to this original problem here, negative 17 minus negative 5. If changing the operation like that uh, is a little bit more confusing, we can start here on the number line and start with negative 17. So notice this is minus, which is to the left. But again, the, op the negative here tells us that we're going to do the opposite of left. And that, of course, would take us to the right, and in this case, five spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and negative 12. Uh, again, I don't know if this helps, but uh, that's where that would take you. And of course, you'd do the minus 12 the same way we did it before. So you don't have to change the sign as long as you think about that. This tells you the direction. If it's a negative value, then you do the opposite direction. 